What's up, y'all? It's Friday. It means it's Inside the Ties, episode 63. I need to check and see. I don't know. I think it is episode 63, but we're getting up there, man. 63, that's a lot of episodes. Um, as usual, uh, shout out Pernection, who commented last week that me setting the timer at 3 minutes and 30 seconds is moot because I always go over my time. Well, I'm going to stick to my time today, Pernection, so stop hating. Um, <laughs> so here we go. I started it. So we're counting down, and we got a lot of stories. There was a lot of stuff going on this week, man. And um, obviously, it was a big deal for everybody to talk about Russell Westbrook. That was an easy story, so I really didn't cover that at all. Um, there's like the Ariana Grande getting a, you know, shoe from Reebok. There's just a ton of stuff that's been going on. But I'm diving right into the big part of it, which, well, not the big part. I guess it's just me diving into what I think were the top stories of the week, and um, that's. Under Armour finally did something that I've been waiting on them to do. They collaborated with Champs on a marketing campaign for the C1N. Now, as you probably know, I'm not a big fan of the C1N. I don't think it's that dope, man. I think it's a really rough shoe. Um, but I gave a pros and cons list. So you can go down here, click the link, read my pros and cons in regard to the marketing campaign. But they came in and they got two chains. Let me in. What? Let me in. Too ready to take over. Oh, let me in. Anyway, the um, nah, let don't me let me in. in. Uh, two chains drags to me, man. I'm not the biggest fan of two chains, but I know kids, millennials, they love the dude, man. Uh, my problem is, like I said, when you do a collab with an uh, basically an influencer of some type, you have to remember that these dudes have collabs with other people. So two chains has a Ewing shoe. Two chains has like an Adidas shoe. I mean, it, it's like. Everybody's giving this dude a shoe, man. There's nothing separating you brands that do that. So it's just something to think about. But the link is down here for the story. Uh, the next thing, even though I said that this was a you know rough week as far as not a rough week, but even though Under Armour came and did something positive, they did something even more better that makes you think that they are really starting to get serious. Now, this wasn't something that's quick. This has been in the works for a long time. And um, gosh, Matt Kish and Claire Duffy at um, Portland Business Journal covered the opening of the Portland campus for Under Armour. And it's dope. I mean, bananas. Uh, you know, this is the kind of stuff that separates a, a brand. It's a beautiful campus and facility. They got to look at the new Curry. And I think, obviously, you want to check that out. Now, the last story for this week, which I put the story down here for, the Portland Business, Business Journal, and you can click through and look at the pictures, but the article is locked. But if you click through, you can look at the pictures. Uh, the last story of the week is Adidas. And Adidas did a marketing campaign for the Pulse Collection. And the Pulse Collection, if you look over here, you see my mouse moving. The fabric in this Pulse Collection is based on the heart rate of athletes that wear Adidas clothing. So the Pulse Collection basically features the heartbeat. So they have this song that they came up with that's with YG. And this is the problem with the song. Um, all right, so you uh, you probably didn't hear that. It was real quick. YG shouts out Penny Hardaway for an Adidas product. That's rough, man. So let's think about that. Adidas, you got to do a little bit better. I said you guys were hitting the targets. You're not really hitting the targets all the time. Last story, lace up. Click on this link and subscribe it. I'm going to put it down here. That's three minutes and 30 seconds. I'm finishing up. Shout out Pencil for doing the show. They got a couple of free episodes, so you can look at the free episodes. Yeah, I just went over to 3.30 per connection. Be quiet. I ain't boo you. Thank you to the new subscribers. I'm at 205 subscribers. And as far as sneaker business is concerned, man, that's huge because a lot of the times no one wants to really talk sneaker business. They only want to look at colorways and things like that. But the fact that you guys are visiting the website more and you're subscribing and you're watching these videos, I graciously thank you, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.